whose wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. Could you help me welcome somebody on your right, on your left? Give them a handshake. Give them a wave. Thank you for coming to church. Here yeah, the Lord did something very wonderful in our midst. I was touched. I was blessed. I was blessed. I don't know about you. Saturday, yesterday, we came here and we praised God. We praised our life out. This morning, we have the set man in the house. After the choir has ministered, we have come to minister to us, the zonal pastor of Zone 8 of RCCG Lagos Province 16, and also the prayer coordinator for our province, Pastor Monday, David Abezobo. He'll be coming to minister to us. For you. Amen.
In that old rugged cross, with blood so divine, I want to see the sea. So I can walk, walk, and walk. Too much for me at last I lay down. I will flee. Seated. Amen. We have a ministration that says, You did it all for me. Jesus, his journey, his mission to earth was not for himself, it was for you, it was for I. And everything he passed through, everything he went through, all the punishment, every suffering, it wasn't for his benefit, but he did it for you. He did it to give you life. He did it to give you peace. That through his blood, we may gain eternal life. The song says, you did it all for me. I want you this morning to remember the essence of the blood. The blood 
was for sanctification, purity. Even when the devil held you bound and said you will not go. But through the blood, there was freedom. Through the blood, there was advancement. Even as we come this morning to cry unto the Lord for a prayer that he will move us forward. It can only happen through the blood of Jesus. He did it all just for me. Mm -hmm. told that before the sacrifice is given to us and if you know that no one can do it except for him i just want us to wave our hands as we worship the lord this morning come on i've heard an old story Sir. about a savior that's king from glory how he gave his life at Calvary. He did it all just for me. Then then his hands. Then then me his feet. Then then to across to that and all the while he was thinking of me because if those nails was every mistake i made the thorns were formed for my life the lashes you took they were meant for me well, you told God you would take them instead. You agreed to do it. You agreed to die. You agreed to give your life to save mine. Oh, you made for me. Knowing all that you would have to go through. You agree. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's go. I heard, I heard a story about a, about a savior, that savior that came from glory. How he gave his life. How he gave his life. At Calvary, he did it all just for me. Just for me. Then they him to me. He held in me his name. He held in me his feet. And then to me. held him to our cross to the oh, wow. world. He did it all. Just for me in those nails, in those nails, was every mistake I made. The tongues were called for my life, for my life. The lashes you took, they were meant for me. Well, you told God, take them instead. You agreed to do it. You agree, you agree to die. You agree, you agree to give your life. Save mine, to save mine. Oh, the sacrifice. You make me. So we know that you would have to go through. Say you agree, you agree to do it. You agree to die. You agree. You agree to give your life to save mine. Oh, God, a sacrifice. Oh, God, a sacrifice. You made for me. You made for me. For you told me. Just you agree to do it. You agree to do it. 
for grief. You breathe, forgive your life. Say fire. Say fire. Oh, Lord, you could never reach. But I'm so gonna pray. I could never pray. But I'm sure You feel out to sing together. I just want you to sing your own song. Sing your own song. Open your mouth and sing and sing. Sing a song to him. Glorious God, beautiful, beautiful. Glory, God. Glory, God. I did it. I bow, I bow before you. Say, Glory to God. <laughs> I'm 
This morning service, come and prove yourself. I'm disappointed that you will appear. May I not speak of my own word? Lord, speak through me. And let there be healing, let there be deliverance. Make you and your sister be the way. Have your will. For the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and the rich. He has sent me to be the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to all the captive, and recovering of sight to them that are blind, and to set a liberty of the that be oppressed, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, that the name of the Lord will be glorified. Lord, I will be glad that your name will be glorified. A promise you none of us is going to take your glory. May I not speak of my own words and let me be exalted. Jesus, much less me, we pray. One of the things the Lord told me to have your seat. Oh God, don't leave a keyboard. They said you are tired. I can do I can do the two. If you are here, you are physically strong. Or you have some medical challenge. Please stand up and come to the altar here. He touched me. He touched me. And I know that joy that filled one soul. Something. 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 I know he touched me and me Oh, he touched me, Lord. He touched me. Oh, Lord. He touched me. Oh, if you have someone that you love dearly that have medical challenge, join them. 
Close your eyes. Raise up your hands. Please call the name of that fellow. Like you are standing in that room. So like I just, as I say, say, call your name that is also you say on the yes word of the living God. Call your name. This is the temple of the Almighty God. You sickness, you are a defiler. You sickness, you are a foul spirit. I command you now disappear. Disappear. The Bible said they will hear their voice and they will run away from their hiding place. They far to and to see Katabaka. You are the Lord. The you are the Lord. 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 the Lord. are your children. You have me to call them out. Come and look at me. Better to attend to their needs. As their faces are different, so what is stopping them is different. You foul spirit. In the system of your this, any of the social children, or in the system of your loved one that they are standing in the car for, at the count of three, you that is here, you will shout, Go! And they will disappear. Please let me hear only the keyboard and the saxophone. The voice be silent, please. Only the keyboard and the saxophone. I can't do that, too, sir. Hear the word of the living God and let it be low. When I count three, represent the Trinity, you will shout, Go! Said they will hear your voice and they will run away from their hiding places. Lord, please heal this wounds that I hear. Heal this one. I don't know how you are going to do it. You sent your word and heal it, and the word is going now. One, two, three, shout! The little you know, touch me is paining you. If it is the whole body, begin to touch your head. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. Receive my healing. I'm going to count to take in the third time, the second time. One, two, three, shout. The third time. One, two, three, let go. Lord. That are consigning these ones. I see healing. I see the angel of God pushing you. I see blood of Jesus purifying you. I see the Holy Ghost fire roasting that sickness. I see healing coming to that pain. Find. In Jesus' much less pain, we pray. Hold on. If you came to church and there's something you cannot do before, maybe you cannot bend before, or one part of your body is paining you when you came to church, just check now whether it's paining you. Just check. Is there anyone among us that just listening to something? If you have yours, just move your hand. 
because I know God said he's going to work on us that within 24 hours. But if you receive your own now, can I see your hand up? Just move your hand. Praise the Lord. The healing is confirmed. Please hear me well. God is going to operate on you within 24 hours. Within 24 hours, you see the hand of God. Jesus, name we pray. Congratulations, you go. All right. Please, today, we don't much of the prayer. I want us to just listen to the word today. The topic before us is go forward. I'm taking my test on Deuteronomy 21. I put you in front, front of my melody. You are you are by it this is what I you All right, it does Deuteronomy to throw me something too. You could load the keyboard a bit, brother. Don't be on the background. Deuteronomy chapter two, two, one to three. Then we turn and look and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spake unto me. And we compassed Masai, Masai, many days. Verse 2 And the Lord spake unto me, saying, You have compassed this mountain long enough, turn ye not where. I see a movement. Praise the Lord. I want you to tap your leg and sing this song. My leg carry me the go. My leg carry me the go. Anywhere better day. You are not tapping your leg now. Anywhere better day. The second time. My leg carry me the go. Yeah, the word of the Lord. Listen to me. When when you hear the word go forward, it is a command, it's not a place, it is an order. Obey before complaint. It is a divine instruction from the from the from the from the from the from the great God. Praise the Lord. Go forward. When God says go forward, nobody can challenge your movement, and nobody can stop you. Anyone that gets stop you, pay for it. Light as the one the Lord is speaking to you. You have stayed too long in that situation. It is time to go forward. May I speak to your life. Receive supernatural speed. It's all right, I say. Oh, I am marching forward. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus, 
Amen. Whether the devil like it or not, hallelujah. One of my pastors normally sing this song. Lay your hands up on me, Lord. Lay your hands on me. Lay your hands up on me, Lord. Oh Lord, I need your hand. If the hand of God is on your life, nobody can stop you. If the hand of God is your business, nobody can break it down. If the hand of God is in your marriage, nobody can scatter their marriage. If the hand of God is in your academic, nobody. So, if you want to go forward, the first step, have God first mentality. Number two, obedient to divine instructions. Obedient. God is speaking to someone. But if only you can't obey. The Bible said in Isaiah 1 19, Isaiah 19, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the fruit of the land. You want to, a lot, a lot of people will be in Lake, they will go back home empty. Because the spiritual gate of this country, get us. Community. I normally ask some 
that place, that cash and leave. God has you to go and leave there. You have built. Did God ask you to build that land? Buy that land. God in everything. Until you get to the extent and say, God, what do I wear today? What do I eat? That is a level of to get to. If you want to go forward, obedient to divine instruction. The Bible said in Proverbs 36, verse 11, Proverbs 36, verse 11, he said, if you obey and serve me, this is what I'm talking about. If you obey, most times I agree, we are treating most of that are no worker sitting in the church. If you obey and serve me, you will spend your days in pleasure. Days, look at it. If it's projected, you see that everything is in plural, not one day, not two days. And you say you will spend your years in what? Prosperity and pleasure. If you obey and serve, if you obey and serve. God is giving you instructions. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. I don't tell a lot of people. I have one slogan. Make God happy so that God will be happy. Luke 15 verse 7. Luke 15 verse 7. The Bible recorded, there is joy in heaven over one soul. And how will it be if you want a brother? If you are, fa- you are a father, and you have and one of your children so Meditation center, and you then show camp. Prayer and meditation center. If you enter that place, no noise. The only thing you could be hearing is him. You enter two hours, you cry your heart out. Daddy and mommy show has poured their heart into the place. You just enter. Do you want changes in your life? Go to that place. Light on the floor. Cry out to God. God, I am tired of this condition. I want to change the story of my family. I need to move forward. Number three is learn how to fast. Number four. Number four. Seek knowledge. Seek knowledge. Read the Bible and books. Every Christian. Learn how to read the Bible, not because you want to come and preach. Let it be your daily food. When you woke up in the morning after your morning devotion, read at least, minimum either if you start with one chapter, Genesis chapter 1 to the end. And when you pick it up, when you are about to read, you pray the simple prayer. Holy Spirit, teach me what I'm about to read. 
that treasure. You want to go forward? This is the manual of human lives. Every solution to every problem is in this Bible. When the Holy Spirit open your eye to see it, you will just be, you will just be operating your life on test and error. Read the Bible. Seek, you want to go forward? Seek knowledge. Read the Bible. Read books. Books in your career. Read books. Do you want anointing? Read books. Do you want prosperity? Financial prosperity? Read books. Do you want to be the best in your career? Read books. Read the Bible. Read books. The Bible, the story was told by this show. He said he was struggling to solve, solve uh, uh, what is it? This is for years. But when he started reading the Bible, the Holy Spirit said, Okay, do this. We say, Do this. this way. Bring out your pieces. Put this one here. Put this one here. Put this one. He get that because when he submitted this, they say, Who taught you? Listen to me. Hosea chapter 6, verse. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Hosea 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Second Timothy 2, verse 15. Second Timothy 2, verse 15. It says to study to show that self proof unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly divided the word of truth. Read books. If you want to stand out from any crowd, read book. If you want to be a standard from any crowd, read books. If you want to be a want to be a standard in your endeavor, in your working place, read the Bible and read books. What you know will make you different, and what you know will make you the very best among the best. The very best among the best. Psalm 32 verse 8 says, Psalm 32 verse 8, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou should go. I will guide thee with my eye. It is when you read the Bible. God will not tell you. If I should send you a text message now, I am the one talking to you. This is what God is saying. If you cannot read, will be what is in this Bible. God is not a talkative. He's not going to tell you, say, my son, my son, my son, my brother, my daughter. Number four. Number five. Number what? What is number one? Huh? Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five, go extra mind in your assignment. Go extra mind in your assignment. If you are a cleaner in the office, let's say you should clean no days since all. Go extra mind to clean the children's department, clean the toilet, clean, clean the office, clean the compound. If you are a, a car watch, let's say you should wash a car. Who has tried mine? Watch the car. If they say it's not watch the engine, look at the engine. Watch the engine. If you are working in an organization, then you have to resume 8 o'clock, close by 6 o'clock. You are work from 8 to 6, and the assignment of that day you have not finished. Go extra mine. Don't mind whether they pay you extra or not. Go extra mine to make sure the job is being done. Somebody is watching you. Just give you one example in the Bible. Example of David. Sorry, Joseph. The Bible recorded the Genesis 36, 39. They called Joseph to come and interpret dream. Just to come and interpret. Joseph interpreted the dream and he went extra mind to do what? To tell them, if you need this thing, you need a man like this, you need a man like this, you need a man like this. He went extra mind. And because he went extra mind, he got the job.
if you are you are a member you are a worker of a church in your assignment go extra mile if you are a student and they gave you say you are to read from the first term to a certain level go extra mile read ahead don't wait until you go extra mile if you want to go forward, if you want to excel, if you want to be the best, the very best in your endeavor, in every aspect, go extra mile. It is not that you are young that you can walk home. Why not you go extra mile now that you are young? And when the time for you to rest, you rest. Mommy and daddy, brother and sister, Go extra mile. In that your office, go extra mile. In that shop, you sell something for somebody. And you see he's taking it to his car. He carry one or the ride. I carry one and you are just looking at him. Go extra mile. Help him or her to the car and reach it. Don't go, we come to church, look at the church company. What can they do? I can see church members at times when they are passing, they will see light on the floor. Yes. God is watching. The Bible said he sees in the open and he sees in the secret. In that your office, the manager is watching. Watching when you resume, when you come. Watching how committed you are. How, how, how. See, you don't walk in a place because you need money. Walk in a place because you want to solve problem. Why am I in lighthouse? Don't be in lighthouse because you, you want to just you want to be a member. Be in lighthouse because you want to add value. There's a prayer I do pray. I will invite you to write it. I don't know whether I heard it from me. Lord, add value to my life to be valuable in life. Add value to my life to be valuable. Until you go extra mile. Our Father and the Lord went extra mile to get what he got. And is he going extra mile? May God help us all in Jesus' name. Finally, Mark chapter 11, verse 1 to 11. Mark chapter 11. Verse 1 to 11. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Look at that Bible verse. I will not read it because of our time. If you read 1 to 11, the Bible recorded there was a call tied down somewhere. And Jesus sent his disciples. He said, go to that teacher shop. You will see a court tied down there. That is the life of some people. Some people are in Lagos. Where their glory is tied down in the village. Some people are in Lagos. Their glory is tied down under the water. There was one deliverance service we were having somewhere in uh, uh, Lakbere. And the lady confessed. Said every man that ever slept with her. Their glory are under the water. So if you are such kind of a fellow. You just be walking like a lion and be eating like an ant. The Bible recorded the man that was tied in that place. And not only that, the devil employed security men that were watching him. He said, when you go, lose him and bring him. And if they ask him, who sent him? Tell them I am the one that sent him. And when he got it, the Bible recorded, they lose him. And they brought it to Jesus. And Jesus climbed on it. The Bible recorded, people came out, started cutting the branch of the tree. They started laying their clothes on the ground. And we were riding on them. And they were, we were singing. We were singing. This is what I termed that place. Bone great. 
but tidal. Concrete, but tidal. Hallelujah, Bukonde. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Hallelujah, Bukonde. Hallelujah, Hosanna. There are a lot of Christians like that. That their glory are tied down. Either in the water, or in the tree, or in the forest, or in the kobo. I had a story, trying to round up. A brother came out as first class, but there was no job. The only job you could get is to sell newspaper along the highway. One day, one of the brothers saw him, that he was teaching in university. That one came out, just came out with a pass. And that one who was working and also said to pass, child, let's pray. The brother's name was Shegu. Of a film I watched, the title of the film, the film is cast, if you can see. The title of the film is... Uh, Came to the church to pray. After they prayed, the, the eyes of the pastor was open. He said, we need to go back to the office. Say, who beat this boy? Where is the sponge? They have sponge. The the sponge you used to beat this boy. Say, how? Are you saying that is the problem? Say we are not saying that is the problem, but where who paid this boy? Say, say, Auntie Mini is living closer to the water there. It's okay. They went. They got to the mama place. Say, Mama, where is the sponge? He used to pay this. Boy. Say, ah, how old is this boy that you can't think this boy can still be alive? This boy is over 35 years old. Say, Mama, the brother they brought him. Say, Mama, we are not here to play. Oh. Where is the sponge? They go back to the Lagos. God will open heaven. You know, I'm, we are praying for you. I'm, you know, I'm going to church every day. We are praying for you. And the brother shout, in the name that is above every other name, let fire fall. And wherever this punch is, punch this woman, the fire land. Boom. And the woman started scratching herself. And the brother, the mama, hit the wall like this. Pam, pam. Bam, and opened his hand, and the sponge landed and was drilling water. That's why I asked you last night. Do you know where they kept that sponge? Do you know where they kept the, they threw the water? Do you know where they buried up last center? So I asked you last night. These are the resistance, resisting glory. You are fearfully and wonderful in me. You are created to be great. But there are forces that say you can't go forward. This court was tied down. That brother was tied down. And the woman said, I don't know how this brother is to you, but thank God. If not, this is how this sponge will be forever. And without this sponge, you cannot make it in life. The brother's name is Shegu. He dragged the sponge. After that moment, he will go. A lot of Christian servants are open, closed as a result of this. A lot of people's glory are tied down. When you go to the village, they will hold you. Ah. Finally, before I pray for you, I ran up the service. He said, a brother came out from a law school and he traveled to the east and he gave his certificates to his uncle. See, uncle, I am done now. See my certificate. The uncle said, ah, can this paper give you money? So uncle, uncle said, yeah, take. And the uncle found his hand. Never drop the hand. The uncle took the certificates in the spiritual, in the physical. He was carrying coal. Good job. The only job you could get is to get Okada until you meet a man of God. Really, me go ja. Kaye go ni yoju. Really, me go ja. Kaye mi go ni Oh, All right, bow down your head. I don't know who is here that wants to rededicate his life to God.
You want God to help you to lose you as He lose that. That they may celebrate you in your family, in your community, even the church of God. You need to ask God to climb on you, to enter you, so that that a celebration will come. And the only thing that can make that to happen by surrendering to God. So if you are here, you want to surrender to God, you want to rededicate your life to Him, so that your glory will be meaningful. Your glory will be celebrated. Place your right hand on your chest and tell it to God. Lord, be merciful unto me. Be merciful unto me. Mm -hmm. I rededicate my life unto you. And I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins. And let me be exalted. Jesus' name we pray. If you pray that prayer with me, I want you to step forward. Come to the altar. Let me join my faith with your faith. Because enough is enough. You must go forward. God must set you free. And he sent me to set you free. I'm going to count one to three. One to three. If you are not yet, we move on. One. God spoke to me. That God can help you. Set you free. One and a half. Mm -hmm. One and a half. Just mm -hmm. left to me. I'm calling one and a half, two. Come and hold on to my hand. Enough is enough. You must move forward. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus right now. He will help you. He will save you. Come to Jesus. Your brothers, junior ones, and senior ones are, are waiting for your manifestation. But the enemy have tied you down. Please come and let God help you. You can't do it on your own. God is here to help you. Now. Two and a half. Lord. children. Please show them mercy. Attend to them. Please rescue them. Forgive them any sin going and unknown to them. And glorify yourself in their life. Make a way they cease to be knowing. For in Jesus much less name, you are free. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. Before I pray for church, I want to pray for mommy and daddy. Please, mommy and daddy, please, let's come. Mommy and daddy, please. Oh, Kaka! You are. Beloved, stand up. Let's stretch out to us this hour. The vessel that the Lord has ordained to make number one in Lego from 16. Speak to their life. Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Lord, these are your children. They can't do it on their own. Attend to their needs. Answer their secret. Answer their open, open prayer. Whatever their heart desire concerning us, enlighten us and so on. Please answer it speedily. Bless the work of their hand. Drive the out from them. Drive sickness from them. Bless their are going out. Bless their coming in. Bless their, their, their children. Bless their business. Bless, make them happy. Over lighters, make them happy. Over Zohan, make them happy. Whatever they needed to be the number one, give on to them. And the name of God be exalted. Jesus, much less name, I declare you blessed.
All right, if you are a worker in this place, come on. If you are a worker, please come. This and this, this are mountain. I dropped this mountain in the Dijon office for five months from August. I was dropping them, I was taking them, I was dropping them, I was taking them, I was dropping, I was taking them. They are about 240. And the Lord said, I should give it out to workers and wherever I go. They are mountain. So I'm going to give you, it's not something you'll be used to clean your house. Something you can, you can, whenever you are going I Check it with the anchor in your pocket, whether they are the same. Bring out the anchor in your pocket. It's for workers. I know a worker in this place. Pastor, please, so that we don't. Worker. Yeah. Oh, this people work Please, how many of you that are living? How many of you? Okay, take this one first. Okay, come, come. How many of you? You are three. Are they walk up? All right. I sent you a message, and you know, just because you didn't reply to me, I made a request for it. But count how many people that are here. The children department will come. See, I know, man. Yes, yes. Eh? All right. I will try to see when I'm coming for a sweet hour of prayer. Bring it. So rise up. Let me pray for you. So I round up this. Shake the anki with the one in your pocket. I don't know whether they are the same. Shake it. You see that it's unique. I. Order for this Anki, about 240 of them. So I pray for you. God will take care of you. Lighthouse, you will not come down. The light that is shining in the darkness and darkness comprehended it not. That light will shine through you. In your family, will shine through you. And the name of God, Jesus' name, we pray. Workers, put that Anki in your head and just speak the word. Speak what the prayer point is, Lord, reposition me for above only, spiritually, financial, reposition me for above only. Those of you that are not a worker, place your right hand on your head and just say, Lord, reposition me for above only. So shall it be in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. God bless you. Church, let's stretch for our hands.
to us are daddy in the Lord who God has used massively to bless us this weekend. Let's rise up and stretch forth our hands towards him. I'm sure you received quite a lot during this weekend on Friday, yesterday and today. I don't know what you wish him. Speak good things into his life, into his ministry, into his health, into his family, whatever area of life. Ask God to rise up for him. Ask God to be with him. Ask God to take him higher. Make him greater than he is. Ten times greater. Hundred times greater. Lord, we present your son before you. He has watered us this weekend. Father, Lord, nourish him. Make him great indeed. Let him become a global person. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We pray for life. We pray for health. We pray for strength. I will pray for grace upon him. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. May be seated. It's time for our offering. We need to give our offering now. There's something about offering that we need to understand. The Bible says, when you give, it shall be given back to you in a good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. And that is the reason why many of you do not run on empty tanks because you give. And so God always has a way of replenishing. So let's quickly package our offering right now. If you don't have the envelope, ask the ushers to give you this envelope. Put your offering and let's rise up on our feet because we're going to honor God with our offering. I want you to understand that this offering you're giving is a, an offering of honor to God. So do it reverently. What I mean by that, you don't just give it anyhow. You don't just throw it into the basket. You are dropping your offering into the basket. You drop it with reverence and respect because you are giving to the Almighty God. Eyes up on your feet. We'll be on our feet now. Let's honor God. Where will lead us? The ushers will go around and take the offering. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you are the mighty God. Hallelujah, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, I am. The mighty, mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. <laughs> 
listed below the people I'm going to mention their names. You are please requested to see Sister Ebate for a brief discussion on skills building. Sister Ebate, uh, many of you, you know him. Number one, Sister Tara, Ta Tara, Sister Teresa, Brother Anderson, ID, Brother John, Brother Uwem, Sister Choma Okonkwo, you are all requested to see Sister Ibatoye for a brief discussion on skills building. Please make sure you don't forget. Case you, I'm sure you all know her, but if you don't know her, Sister Ibatoye, where are you? Can you wave your hand? Uh -huh, she's at the back, so please see her. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we are grateful for how you have blessed us, delivered us, healed us, transformed our lives from Friday up to now, using your son, Pastor Monday. We are so grateful. He told you when he was saying his opening prayer this morning, he said, we will not take your glory. And so I join my faith with him to say, all the glory will return to you. Thank you for the offering of your children. Thank you for the dance offerings. Thank you for the praises and the worships. Thank you for everything that you have done. Above all, thank you for the anointing. That from now on, we are going to be above only. We will never be below in the name of Jesus. Please, Lord, accept us and accept our offering. Bless this offering of your ch children. Sanctify it and use it for your glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited to be in the lighthouse. What about you? Do you know that no matter how anointed a man is, angels cannot worship with him eh? physically. He needs man to worship, Abby. You know, you, so, you can't just imagine how happy I am that you came. And I'm not just trying to excite you. I'm very happy you came. Especially Bishop in the house. Let's celebrate him. <laughs> yeah. Not just Bishop alone with, with, with uh, the Queen in the house in Zion Hill. She's behind there. Celebrate her. They just didn't come in. Alone, they the workers. All the workers from Zion here, let's celebrate you. Wonderful. Wonderful. We gave you our best and our very best. So don't complain. No letters to the zone. <laughs> Everything you would have written in a letter, we have already given you, you know. Praise God. Bishop, we are happy you are here and thank God for bringing you back safely. Praise God. He's our latest pastor from this house. Amen. We have struggled for one year on the day 
we came to worship here, God gave us a place. That was the day God asked him to move. Oh, me myself, when I was transferring him, I was crying. Eh? <laughs> Praise God. I was crying for a lot of reasons. I was crying that I said, ah, if it Yeah, I will see you okay. I like it so